Good morning. Will you please stand for a moment of silence and remain standing for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coming up on UPC, information on the marine biology's trip to SeaWorld. Cougars against the Rebels on Thursday night. I'll have more today in sports. And all NHS members need to listen up, and all this and so much more is coming up on UPC, and it starts right now. Thank you for joining us on the Monday, October 19th edition of UPC. I'm Eric Reitmeyer. And I'm Steve Ferrara. Attention old National Honor Society members and new inductees. There will be a mandatory NHS meeting for all members on October 22nd in the auditorium. Don't forget your dues. Need a job? Be part of the scene at Limited 2 in Countryside Mall. They are currently hiring responsible and energetic associates for the holidays. Come in and apply. There will be a sophomore class meeting in room M1A after school today, October 19th. This is a mandatory meeting. Marine Biology Club members, the trip to SeaWorld is filling up fast. Bring your $21 to Miss Boylan in F5 immediately. The trip is October 30th, Friday. Thanks to the marching band for an excellent performance at the Tarpon Springs Outdoor Music Festival from Mr. Hayward. And now here's Alfredo with sports. Thank you very much, Eric and Steve. I'm Alfredo Muente with UPC Sports. Thursday night, the varsity football team lost to Dixie Highlands Rebels 18-9 to fall to 3-3. Three three. The Cougars are still undefeated in the district and will play their toughest division rival this week, the Clearwater Tornadoes. The game is on the road at 7.30 p.m. Also now in uh, college football, we have the uh, Florida State Seminoles uh, beating the Clemson Tigers by a score of 48 to nothing. The uh, UF Gators, pardon me, the South Florida Bulls losing for the first time this year. They are ranked 12th in Division I AA. The Western Kentucky Hilltoppers defeated them 31 to 24. And the uh, Florida Gators also defeating their rival, uh, the Auburn Tigers, over the weekend. And in the National Football League, it was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just squeaking out a victory against the uh, Carolina Panthers, 16-13. to Trent Dilfer, 219 yards passing, a touchdown and an interception, and also one rushing touchdown as the Buccaneers now even their record up to 3-3. Three and three. Any girls interested in playing softball this year who did not attend the meeting last week should stop by room M13 for important information. And also, uh, if uh, you did not answer our trivia question, the answer, Theo Fleury from the Calgary Flames, the only player in the National Hockey League last year to uh, lead his team in points and in penalty minutes. This week's question is, and we hope we have more responses, name the only manager in Major League Baseball history to win a World Series in both the National League and in the American League. And you can write to me at almuente20 at AOL.com. And that's the wrap today in sports. Back to Eric and Steve. Thanks, Alfredo. We got a couple of last minute announcements. We got a happy belated birthday to Irene from Bobby, Brooke, Eric, John, and the rest of the crew. And we have a happy birthday to Lacey from, uh, or Love, Jen, Laureen, and Alicia. All right, that's all here at uh, UPC. Thank you for joining us and have a great day. Thanks a lot.